Before you go, subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. Now, try and do some walking in the steep and slippery stuff before it's for real. This is where you're going to break or hurt yourself if you haven't done it before. Now, the carry system here is quite good. It stays put, doesn't choke your neck or cut off your blood circulation, and it carries the heavy load quite well. Now, it's not perfect. They do really stupid things, such as this buckle. Now, for a US customer, you can just return it. As a European customer, I'm pretty much stuck with fixing this myself. This is for a lid, and it's faulty. It really doesn't stay st stick. Oh. It's always smart to check your equipment before you go off on your big adventure. Now in this case, I have the largest Kuyu backpack and I really don't want this one to fail when I'm in the forest or on the mountain. Now it's been a long time, so for those of you that don't remember, the long range proficiency test is one shot, one minute, and one target. And the bullet point of impact will be affected by the weather. And today we have a higher pressure that's going to push the bullet down. We also have a higher temperature that's going to push the bullet up. But not all change is a significant change. And today, the changes are so small, we're just going to disregard them, dial to range, which is 515, and just shoot. Let's try it. Okay, so not really terrible for the first shot. I was 0.2 to the right and I didn't really do a wind call and if I had used a simplified wind call, I would have been more or less dead center. And as you see, the bar in the reticle, which also represents a normal wind call error at these distances, were also pretty much dead on. So it's not hopeless. The basics seems to be intact. So what I need to be working more on is the wind calls. And hopefully this season it will take you along so you can better understand how I do wind and what the effect will be. This here is a Trigger Cam 2.1 and I will be using this on the range only and I'm hoping it will be a proper teaching tool because it will hopefully show you exactly how I aim, what sort of wobble I have and what it looks like when I break the trigger I work to the recoil and how to come back at the target. Okay, now we're just going to shoot a little at 600 so you just can get a feel of what it looks like. I find the target and I settle in. Now, if I want to check. I'll just close the eyes, that's the natural point of aim. And as you see, the dot is now on the right hand side of the target. So maybe my basics went that good. I'm just going to move in the whole body to the side. Trigger finger on. Grip. Try again. And as you see, 
the aim didn't move. So now I'm ready to shoot. There's something I'm not seeing. Let's replay what I did there. Look at the right hand side of the target and see how 0.4-0.5 emerald still touch steel. To correct, move that 0.4-0.5 emerald value from the right all the way over to the left and give yourself a maximum chance of hitting the target. Although my wind estimate was less than 1, the true value was almost 3. Respiratory pause, shoot at the bottom. Oh, funny how that worked. And that's the breathing alone, okay? Okay, hopefully we got that. It's a smallish size. An okay group there. And a few adders, high and low, mostly with the breathing. Now with an open bolt, there's no problem being in front of the rifle. Now it's been almost a year since I last shot long range, so it's completely unrealistic to blame anything other than myself. But the message is, don't blame the equipment, look to yourself and try and figure out what you are doing wrong. Subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.